CES 2023, and Stellantis gave a keynote presentation. I'm going to break it down into two parts. This video will cover the truck, and then I'll cover everything else in my next video. The big news from Stellantis is their Ram 1500 Revolution BEV concept. As you know, Ford, GM, and Stellantis Ram. are the kings of full-size trucks, and full-size trucks make lots of money. They cannot afford to have the revenue from these trucks disrupted. What could disrupt them? Electric trucks. Especially if a new competitor who only makes EVs catches them napping. Now, I get it. You think traditional pickup truck buyers are skeptical of EVs. That's putting it nicely. They flat out hate EVs. They make them angry and they want to do harm to them. Given this conflict between traditional pickup buyers and electric vehicles, you could consider a wait and see strategy. But the fact is, there is just too much at stake for CEOs of Ford, GM, and Stellantis to ignore the possibility that electric pickups will catch on quickly. Plus, sales of the F-150 Lightning have been excellent. Wait and see time is over. Mike Koval, CEO of the Ram brand, gave the presentation. Let's look at what he said here and in other recent interviews to try and see what is reality and what is fantasy in this concept truck. John McElroy on Autoline, go check out his channel, he's a legend, sat down with Mike Koval before the keynote. He acknowledged that a production BEV truck is being finished with the start of production plan for 2024 calendar year. This vehicle shown on stage is not the exact truck that will go on sale, but rather it is a visionary roadmap for the brand to follow. I take that to mean the CES truck has a fair amount of fantasy to it, not too surprising. Exact figures for range, towing, payload, and charging time were never given. In the presentation, he did say that Ram Revolution would be, and I quote, a top truck mountain in each of these categories using their customer performance index to set targets. So they're not saying they will beat the competition in every important metric, but they will be atop the mountain. Translation, expect it to be very, very competitive with whatever Ford and GM offer, but maybe not the best in every metric depending on how you measure it. Looking at the exterior design, the front end will certainly look close to that in production. Lots of EVs have a signature front lighting design. Ram has chosen this design described as a tuning fork. Not as noticeable are the marker lights in the front, similar to what you see on the current Ram TRX or Ford F-150 Raptor. On the Ram BEV, it may be limited to top-line models that get these marker lights with a larger battery and more power. Digital side cameras instead of reflective glass mirrors currently are not allowed in the U.S. by law. They came close to changing the regulations, but until they do so, it's big honking mirrors for all. Doors like this should not be called suicide doors. That's not the correct term. You can call them coach doors or rear hinge doors. Ram calls them saloon doors. You know what? I was initially doubtful that these doors would appear in production, but the fact that this name is so cool, I want it to be true. I did a search to see if anybody has trademarked the term saloon doors. I did not find anybody. It is very possible that the Stella frame platform can be rigid enough to offer this. The battery pack will likely be a structural part of the platform, common in other EVs. So yeah, they could actually do this. Will the fancy rear taillights appear on the production truck? Probably. Do I like them? No, I think they're a bit too much. The concept truck has a pass-through from the passenger compartment to the frunk. I question the usefulness of this feature. I kind of think that this is just a concept that won't make production. Will the production Ram BEV have a mid-gate? Great question. The F-150 Lightning is based on the current truck, so there was no opportunity to change the body. GM's electric pickups were new from the ground up, so their research said to offer a mid-gate like the old Chevy Avalanche. Until EV pickups become more common, they will be targeted at people who carry kayaks, not cow manure. It would be a bold move to offer a mid-gate, but Ram has never been shy about taking bold moves in the past. This would open up the truck to what they call Ram track, allowing seats to be reconfigured and or other bed slash interior options. They mentioned having third row jump seats or moving them to the rear for tailgating. On the inside, the dual screen setup, 
with one being a display and the other for controls, yep, RAM got a lot of attention and sales when they started offering the 12-inch Uconnect system. No reason they wouldn't try for a repeat. That foldable steering wheel? Nope. Too complicated. We're ways off from level 4 or 5 autonomy. Four-wheel steering? Yep. GM has this also. An inductive charging robot. The moving charger itself, they would partner with somebody to buy it. Their company's working on similar concepts. Car manufacturers need to leave room to package the receiving pad under the vehicle, so that is something they may be working on. In the presentation, Stellantis mentioned they are working on solid-state batteries. The Ram Revolution will not launch with solid-state batteries. I'm confident of that. Across the industry, they need more time before getting widespread use. There were lots of other interesting design features in this concept truck. I could not mention them all. But one thing it did not have was a range extender. That's where a small internal combustion engine is added to the battery electric vehicle to use it to generate electricity while you drive. Typically, it's a series plug-in hybrid configuration like the old BMW i3 Rex and the Chevrolet Volt. A range extender was not mentioned in the keynote, but in that earlier interview I mentioned, he acknowledged that the production vehicle would offer a range extender engine. What's going on? Well, you see, at the keynote, CES Carlos Tavares said that Stellantis will be net zero carbon by 2038. It would not look good if at the end of the presentation, they rolled out the Ram Vision concept that had an internal combustion engine range extender burning gasoline. To avoid sending a mixed message, the concept Ram truck is a battery electric vehicle only. Adding a range extender is expensive. Essentially, you take an expensive battery electric truck and add the cost and complexity and maintenance of a gas engine, exhaust system, cooling system, and fuel system. That's why you don't see more of them. But if it allows the truck to haul a trailer longer distance than any EV out there, that's special. I'm very interested to see how it all adds up. So there you have it, Ram 1500 Revolution Bev concept. I don't like the taillights. I don't see the need for the pass-through to the frunk. I'm really interested to see how the range extender model performs. Thanks for watching and subscribe because I'm working on several other videos from my trip to CES 2023.